In high school, a student climbed in the rafters of the gymnasium. Uh, safety personnel along with school personnel were able to talk the student down without injury. Uh, the student uh, was accompanied by his mother uh, for medical evaluation. Uh, measures were already in place to ensure that the access to the rafters will no longer be possible. And I want to thank the Wellington Fire Department, um, Wellington Police Department, for their efforts along with the Southern Lorraine County Ambulance District. And I also want to commend the high school principal and his staff for following proper procedures in the crisis situation. Thank you. Okay, tell me, how does one get into the rafters? I mean, I don't, I've never been in your gymnasium, yeah, there, so I can't uh, really... Well, I mean, uh, access was gained from, uh, from our uh, bleachers uh, that are at the end of the gymnasium. Um, and uh, the student would be able to climb uh, on top of that, or get to the top of those bleachers, and, and then uh, could gain access to the... Uh, can you describe a little bit for me how the gymnasium is constructed for someone like myself who's never been in there? Um, basically, uh, you know, the gymnasium has a has a um, you know, sort of balcony mm -hmm. with uh, bleachers are at, at one end of the gym. Um, so behind the basket, there's a balcony, and uh, and there's bleachers there. Um, for extra seating, and uh, you know, it's pretty similar to most, you know, most schools that have a balcony. Now, how long do you think the situation took to unfold, start to finish, before? Um, I believe it's probably about uh, probably about an hour, an hour and twenty minutes from the time. Uh, Someone was alerted that the student was uh, in the rafter to the time that we got him to come down. Uh, and uh, I'm very pleased with, with uh, the support that we uh, received from the fire department and the police department, and as well as uh, how the, the high school staff and uh, principal and administration there handled the situation. Was there a particular person who was able to get him down? Uh, it was just a combination of people. Yeah. Again, uh, police department uh, uh, and school personnel. And at this time, where were the other students at? Uh, the other students were uh, in the building. The, the gymnasium was uh, was locked down, uh, was closed off, and uh, access to the hallways uh, to either side of the gymnasium were closed, uh, so students would not be able to to uh, have access. Were students aware or did you issue a statement to any of the students? Uh, we did not issue a statement, but uh, any time that, you know, in today's day and age uh, with the uh, access to uh, cell phones and things like that, uh, okay. makes it difficult sometimes for, uh, okay. for people in our positions, you know, whether it's the police department or school or administration to try to uh, keep the rumor mills from starting, um, and so uh, that's why we, we try to make one statement as a district um, so that the information that needs to be uh, released is released and it's correct information as opposed to uh, text messaging, uh, you know, what people think is happening. Now tomorrow will, you, will the district be enacting the crisis? Because I know when there's an unfortunate incident, yeah, counselors we'll, we'll come have, in to we'll speak have counselors to available if, if students need that. Now, what grade was the student in? Um, I I prefer not to to speak any further about the student. He's a high school student. We're you concerned. Can't. We're concerned about his well-being, uh, and uh, we're going to do everything for that student that we can to uh, to make sure that he has a, a smooth transition back to the educational environment.